what is good everyone welcome back to the channel guys in today's special video we are doing an unboxing of this super mario bros movie donkey kong stadium playset this thing is so freaking sick i think now i'm not exactly 100 percent sure but I think this might be the first Donkey Kong figure that they have made since they've done the new Super Mario Bros. movie. We've seen Mario, we've seen Peach, Luigi, we've seen a bunch of the other characters. They didn't do a Mario though, like in the bigger scale figures or the smaller ones. So I'm really stoked on just having a Donkey Kong from the new line. You can tell he looks a little bit different, kind of looks a little bit more like from the movie. So pretty cool here, guys. And yeah, you know we gotta turn this thing around and look at all of the amazing artwork before we dive in. That's what it looks like when it's closed and then that's what it looks like when it's open. You guys let me know if you saw the movie. If so, you probably remember something very similar about this right here. <laughs> Maybe a little part of the movie. Maybe not, I'm not gonna spoil it. <laughs> right here guys, we've got the Donkey Kong Stadium. And then it says it in different languages. I'm not gonna read all of those. <laughs> and then down here, kind of cool, it says collect them all and you have all the different characters. And then you have like the question blocks that they come with. We picked up one of these, I think. No, we didn't, Never mind. I, th I think we were gonna start picking these up, but instead we ended up getting that van playset. And then we haven't really revisited the, the minifigures yet. We will eventually, but. For now, I'm looking forward to unboxing this. I went ahead and peeled the tape off. You can see where it was. And luckily, it did not rip the artwork because I want to hold on to this box. Maybe you guys will see this in a future video, like in the background or something like that. Not sure just yet, but let's go ahead and go ahead and get into it. And yes. There we go. Okay, looks like maybe we'll have to do a little bit of assembling. Maybe not that much, I don't know. So we got this, it looks like maybe these are the gates, I think. So we're gonna set that there for right now, next to our friends hanging out in the back. <laughs> and then, uh-oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna rip anything. Oh, there we go, okay, cool. They like, they, oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, they specifically make all of this stuff, I feel like, for collectors, because they know we're gonna wanna hold on to these boxes. So they made it to where, you know, Donkey Kong was right here in this little window, and yeah, you could just slide them on out. This is cool. I think we gotta look at Donkey Kong first. Let's see if we can go ahead and get them out. Uh-oh. There we go. Put that back there for later on and here we have him the new different designed donkey kong shout outs to jack's toys they put out pretty much every like new mario toy you guys see i'm pretty sure it's from jack so i think they're called jack's pacific but jack's toys jack's just right there <laughs> jacks so just in case so that way you guys know but yeah you'll see these things hitting shelves hopefully they probably already are on shelves um not entirely sure if they're gonna be everywhere but they should be you know they definitely should be but man look at this it's got a few different points of articulation you got one right there you got two you got three with the head and i don't think the feet move no the feet they look like they would but no no they're not moving so as you can tell, he's a little bit designed differently. Here, let's compare him to a previous Donkey Kong. And I think this is also, yep, I was going to say this is also another Jack-specific toy. So you can see the size difference there. And you can see the face that's a little different. So Donkey Kong in the movie kind of gave off the vibe that he was definitely younger. So I feel like maybe we'll get like a spinoff movie and we'll get to see Donkey Kong get like a little bit older as time goes on. But he definitely seemed like just a giant kid. Although I guess Donkey Kong has kind of always felt like that, but yeah, you can see a little bit of the design differences there. Kind of cool. Let's set Donkey Kong back. Oh, back there. So yeah, we got that. And let's see, let's go ahead and get in here and pull out. Yep, okay, so we got it all. We'll go ahead and set this. Ah, I don't like that sound. We're gonna set this back here just to kind of have it as like a little bit of a display. I think that'll be good for this video. <laughs> and then 
I guess we're gonna open this up. So there's probably some instructions. I don't know if we need the instructions, but we will. Ah, I can't get it open. We will at least check it out. Okay, that, it's kind of just common sense. You know, you put the doors on there and then you do something with that thing and then you do that. All right, we're gonna figure it out. Although we might have to go back to those instructions. Let's go ahead and open this up. I think this is gonna be like the playset. Like the background of it, I guess. I mean, the whole thing is gonna be the playset, but I think this will be like part of the background. We'll see. Can get this thing out of here. There we go. All right, and it does say Nintendo, and it says Universal City Studios. Oh, okay. So there's part of it. Let's get that cardboard out of here. I don't know what that is. Is that like the water? Oh yeah, it's kind of like a little beach theme going on. I love this. This is just so cool to me already. And then you can just see all the different Donkey Kong characters on here. Is Diddy Kong on here? I feel like he's probably hiding. I don't see Diddy Kong. I know he was definitely in the movie, but any Diddy Kongs? No, I'm sure they'll do something with Diddy Kong. Um, they barely showed him in the movie though. He was just in there for like a second. So I feel like maybe in a future movie, if, especially if they do like a Donkey Kong spinoff movie, we have to get Diddy Kong. Ah, okay. So this is what that instruction thing was saying. I think you put like something in there, like a barrel or something, and maybe it just flies out of there. I don't know, but we will find out here in a second. Let's go ahead and open this up. I don't want to rip anything. Well, besides the plastic, I don't want to break this. Uh, okay, so this right here is already kind of coming off for some reason. I wonder... I mean, it's not supposed to. It's probably... Probably just popped out a little bit. I guess. Maybe you can... Oh, I wonder if you can, like... I'll see. I don't... Th <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to do this, but we're gonna... We're gonna mess with it. Let's see if I can get in there. I don't know. Never mind. I was gonna say, maybe it has, like, a reversal thing where you can flip it to the other side. Let's see. Nope. Definitely just... Okay, so let's <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that if you if you pick this up. I'm just looking for Diddy Kong. He's got to be hiding somewhere. It's like where's Waldo? You know what? Oh wait, is that him up there with the D like behind that? That kind of looks like um, what was his name? He was in Donkey Kong Country Three. I think his name was not Dixie Kong. That was um like the the girl one. That I think maybe Trixie Kong. Yeah, the, well, both of those guys kind of look like Trixie Kong. So. Anyways, all right, I'm getting a little distracted. Let's go ahead and look at this one, too. It might just be the same. Yeah, it's probably going to be like the same exact. Well, it wouldn't be the same print. I'm sure they would do something a little different. Yeah, it looks a little different here and there. So, All right, guys, let's try to assemble this. I think this is just going to pop in. I don't think it's going to be that hard. Oh. All right, guys, I did it off camera because I had to use a little bit of elbow, elbow, a little bit of elbow grease to get that thing on there. But it looks like we definitely got the first door on. I'm going to go ahead and try to snap the second one on. Give me a second. Whew, and there we go. Started to break out into a little bit of a sweat here. <laughs> but <clears throat> excuse me, as you can see, it works. I don't know if this is supposed to close like, OK, there we go. That is pretty awesome there. Got the little play set. I don't know where I'm gonna put this, but I feel like just this chilling in the background of like a future video might be kind of cool. Like maybe we do a Donkey Kong theme video. Now here's, here's something I don't, I have to critique a little bit, you know? I don't like that this is coming off. It probably did not help that I was like kind of pulling it. So I might be to blame, but let's see if we can kind of like, ah, there we go. Okay, so you can kind of like press it back in. Maybe don't press it too hard, but I think that'll probably get it in there a little bit better. Yep, there we go. Okay, so that was a very, very easy fix. You just kind of put a little bit of pressure there and pop it in. So that looks a lot better now. There we go. We're going to set that back here. Something broke off earlier. Didn't break. It just kind of kind of fell out there. But Donkey Kong right there. And guys, over here, we've got all sorts of fun things to mess with. So I guess the question blocks can kind of just, I don't know, I guess they just sit in different areas. Okay, so this has it on the side. 
And I did see that you could put one right there. There we go. You know what? This makes more sense now because as you push this in, it's kind of holding this up as well. So there we go. We got one. Oh man, this is so cool. You can just see, you can see the size comparison. You got Donkey Kong there and then you got the question block there. So that is very, very cool. Go ahead and pop this in. There we go. And we got one more. Oh yeah, you get the little barrels. Oh, let's go ahead and test it out real quick. Cause I wanna do that instead of finish building it. All right, so right here we've got, where's that spot? There we go. Let's see if they'll knock him over. Oh, Donkey Kong is too strong. We knocked over by a barrel. <laughs> Dude, these are awesome. I'm gonna set those down there. Y'all can't see those right now, but we'll, we'll look at it a little bit better. Let me finish assembling. I got a little distracted, sorry guys. Wanted to start playing with the playset. I guess that's what it's for, right? You gotta play with it, huh? There we go. All right, so that is already looking a thousand times better. I love that so much. And in here, I think you got like the little beams. I'm sure you could probably like put these wherever you want. I didn't notice this. Guys, I am a sucker for just weird stuff like this, right? It's not necessarily weird, it's just cool. It's like, it's really cool when companies pay attention to small details like this. I didn't even notice this, but now it makes sense because I think this was behind this, if I'm not mistaken. So if you looked in there, you saw like Donkey Kong probably chilling like that, you know, in that plastic and then in there. So that is very, very cool. All right, I keep getting distracted, sorry guys. Let's go ahead and open well let's get the, oh there's another there's another barrel there we go all right let's open this up real quick what is that there's there's something else in here all right so you got all of these and i'm sure you can just kind of oh that's really cool looking i'm sure you can just kind of position them probably wherever you want like you can see all these different little spots where they could fit in and you could just kind of i don't know I don't know if you'd want them like up, maybe? Yeah, I guess. That would make sense so that way like if you have like one of the miniature um, like Mario figures or something, you could probably have them uh, standing on there. I don't know how well Donkey Kong is gonna stand. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess kind of. <laughs> and let's see, so we can put these pretty much wherever we want. Now, I don't know if they go this, I don't think they would go that way. That looks like the bottom to me. This one looks like it would be the top. Here's the best way to find out. You just look at the bottom and clearly that's not gonna fit. So yeah, there you go. I guess it's uh, common sense, but it's my first time setting one of these up. So I don't know. Also, I wonder, oh, you know what? You could probably, no, never mind. I was gonna say you could maybe close it and it would connect, but no, I don't think that's the case. I wonder why they made them like this on the ends. It's making me think there's probably a way to get them to connect. Maybe like a, I don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> All right, anyways, let's uh, you can put one up here. And then oh, I guess we need one over here, don't we? Yeah. Wait, how are you gonna, oh, you're not gonna be able to get that question block. Uh-oh, something broke. Oh, what broke? Oh, Donkey Kong broke. All right, there we go. Sorry guys, you couldn't see that, but. Got it all set up just like that now. And there was something else over here. What is this? What the heck? What are these? Ah, uh, you can like, oh, wait, is that a, is this like a little tire? Yeah, dude, what? Okay, so you can, I think there's a way to like position this. Let's see. Oh, it just slot, oops. All right, hold on. Let's, uh, let's do it this way. That way you guys, oh, that way you guys can see. So this has these little notches and then right there it slides under and then it just goes like that. Dude, that is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the small details, the small details on toys. That's like what does it for me right there. That is so awesome. I love that so much. That's so sick. The only thing I guess that's uh, would I mean it's not a huge bummer because obviously if you're gonna play this or play with this you're not gonna pro you're probably not gonna just like put it away you know you're probably gonna leave it out on display but I don't think there's a way to like close it <laughs> like you'd have to just take all these pieces off and that's fine though but oh man that's so cool and look there's another one right here we could like 
I don't know. Maybe do another one over here or something. Yep, there we go. And then you could just jump on this and then punch that question block. Guys, that is so awesome. I, I kind of wish they included... Uh, now, it would be maybe like a little pack you could go buy for like two or three bucks, but like a little fire flower or a mushroom or something, just something to set on top. Although, yeah, it'd probably fall over. I feel like that would be really, really cool if they did that. But it's all good because this is still really, really cool. It's not, you know, super expensive, and you definitely get, like, a lot of bang for your buck here. Guys, look at that. The freaking tire in the box. Oh, my gosh. That just, oh, <laughs> that just made it so much cooler. Uh, all right, so Donkey Kong's hanging out. Let's do the barrels one more time just because I feel like that's just such a funny, like, kind of gimmicky thing to do. But let's see. So there's a little slot in the back, and you just... Boom! One. Where did it go? Two. <laughs> and three. All right, guys. I think that is going to wrap up this video. Let's set this right here. Hey, look, imagine hitting the question block and then you get a Donkey Kong barrel. I don't know why that would ever happen, but that's what's happening now. Guys, how cool is this? This set is freaking awesome. Drop a comment. Let me know, is this something that you would pick up? Are you looking for any of these newer toys that are coming out? This one, I think, is part of the second wave of Super Mario Bros. movie toys. This definitely was not out um, when the toys first started hitting shelves, unless this was just late for some reason. But I'm going to assume this is like a wave two thing. But... Yeah, let me know down below. Is this something that you would pick up? Maybe pick up for, you know, one of your kids or like a birthday or Christmas present for like a niece or a nephew. I feel like they would love this. But yeah, guys, drop some comments. Let me know. Also hit that subscribe button. Um, you guys can stay in the loop. We try and drop at least one new video every week and then we do shorts pretty much every single day. So you guys will see those if nothing else. But I do appreciate all of y'all. Until next time. Peace.